Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to make a remote on and off switch with a contactor. In this video I will display the difference between two wire and three wire connections in creating an on and off switch. I have my hot wire already connected to a distribution block and my neutral connected to a different block to give you a better visual of the connection points. The neutral is also already wired up to the contactor and the load. No power is applied to either of these at this moment and it is important to make sure that no wire is live during this setup. The three wire control will demonstrate a latching circuit which I will display using a three pole contactor with an auxiliary contact. The three wire control can use two momentary push button switches with one being normally open and the other being normally closed. Generally contactors are needed for higher inductive loads such as motors, but the light here will serve as a load for demonstration purposes and is already wired up to the load side of the contactor. On the line side it will only use single phase in place of three phase. I will now wire up one of the hot wires to one part of the auxiliary contact and another hot wire to the normally open switch. On the other side of the auxiliary contact I will be using two wires. One of the wires will go to the opposite side of the normally open push button and the other wire will go to one side of the normally closed push button. I will then wire the opposite side of the normally closed push button to the A1 terminal on the contactor. The A2 terminal is already wired to my neutral. Before applying power, I want to further explain what will happen when the start button is actuated. After the start button is pushed, the power will be routed to the contact here and then jumped to the second push button. Since the second push button is a normally closed switch, the power will continue on until it reaches the coil on the contactor. The coil will energize and close the contacts. The auxiliary contact will also close. Since the auxiliary contact is wired up to the power source and the normally closed contact, the power will continue on even when the start button is removed thus latching the circuit. I will now apply power and press the start button. Notice that the contacts engage and the light turned on immediately and remained on after pressing. Right now the coil is closing the contacts as one of the contacts is keeping the coil actuated. This is a latching effect. To remove the power from the coil voltage, I will need to break the connection from the auxiliary contact. Since this is a normally closed switch, pushing the off button will cause it to open. I will press this push button and the coil will release the contacts. Since all contacts are released, the auxiliary contact cannot be engaged until the start button is pushed again. Now I will change this setup by removing power. I will then remove the push buttons by disconnecting it from A1 and taking out the wires from the auxiliary contact. The two wire configuration uses a maintained switch. This switch will remain in an on or off state until physically changed and can be used with single pole relays or a three pole contactor without the need of an auxiliary. My power should remain off during this installation. I will install a hot wire to one end of the switch and then I will need to wire the other end of the maintain switch to the A1 terminal on the contactor. Once this is completed, I should be able to power up the coil with the switch on. I will apply power and then turn the switch to energize the coil. This will remain on until I choose to open the switch by switching the contact back to the open position. Push buttons and contactors along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.